In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the uh, Sonar Cube server. And uh, here are the prerequisites. On your Linux VM, you need to have uh, something like uh, Java, uh, Oracle GRE, or OpenJDK installed on your Linux VM. Uh, here you can see the enterprise re hardware recommendation as well as some uh, minimum uh, hardware recommendations. Except Java, we will need a database and I'm going to go for PostgreSQL 12 in this case. Here are the web browsers that uh, SonarCube is uh, recommending. Now, uh, just before we go into the technical details, I would like to tell you that uh, only 4.8% of uh, the people which are watching this type of videos, uh, they are subscribed to the channel. So if you are not subscribed to the channel and uh, you enjoy this type of content, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Like the video and uh, share it. If you want to help the channel grow and uh, enjoy more this uh, type of tutorials that uh, I'm doing. We will begin by doing an update uh, to the operating system. Then install uh, Java. After the Java installation, uh, we will have to uh, install PostgreSQL. So that we will uh, update the package list. Now we will have to set up a new password for the post uh, GraySQL user. Then we will have to create a user Sonar for Sonar Cube, and uh, here we will gonna go to the uh, PostgreSQL shell. Uh, here we will set the password for the user, uh, create a database, and um, um, for the database we will have the Sonar user as owner and uh, grant uh, all privileges for that um, user to the Sonar Cube database. Then we will uh, simply restart the PostgreSQL service. After this, we will have to check the status of uh, a PostgreSQL uh, to see on which port is running. And as you can see, it's on the default one. The next step would be to set up some uh, system limits and uh, kernel parameters.
these limits you can also find them on the official documentation the limits are a little bit different here than uh, mine but uh, these ones uh, should work as well Now we will actually have to download um, Sonar Cube, and uh, here you can uh, see how I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to the binaries.sonarsource.com uh, uh, distribution, and then uh, for slash Sonar Cube. So I'm downloading the latest uh, zip file. then we will have to unzip it Now we will have to rename the folder. And here we will have to uh, set up the sonar queue properties. The, we, we will use uh, the username and the password. Then we will have to change the PostgreSQL schema and uh, tell it where to search for the SonarCube database. These are the settings for the Java heap size uh, that uh, Elasticsearch will use. Here we will have to uh, create a sonar cube service and uh, you can see the uh, exec start and exec stop uh, for which scripts are going. Then we will have to create a, a group for a sonar cube. We will call it sonar just like the username. the here we are creating a sonar user that will gonna go to the sonar uh, group and here we will change the uh, permissions for the sonar cube for folder then we will uh, reload the daemon and uh, start the sonar cube service Here we will check for the port and as you can see it starts uh, on the default one, 9000. Here we are checking the uh, status of the Sonar Cube service. And right now that uh, the status server is up, we can um, actually use the server. But before using the server, we will uh, have to install NGINX. And we will use NGINX to redirect the traffic uh, from uh, the local IP of the server to uh, the loopback uh, IP address on um, 9000 port. Then we will start the NGINX. 
check the status of it. And we can see that uh, it's running, it's listening on all the interfaces on port 80. Now to test the web interface, uh, something went uh, wrong here and uh, we will fix it a little bit later. So right now we will connect to just to 9000 port and we will use uh, Sonar and uh, sorry, we will use uh, Admin for username and the, the, the password and then we, will, we are asked to change the password on the first login. Okay, and uh, we can see that uh, the application is working. All we have to do right now is to fix that uh, NGINX issue. So we will go to the Sonar Cube properties and uh, look for the interfaces where Sonar Cube is actually listening on. And by default, it's all. Uh, sorry. The port and the host and uh, here we will um, specify the loopback IP address 127.0.0.1 and the port we will leave it the same we will restart the sonar cube service and the nginx service And after all of that, we should uh, be able to go to and after all of this, we should go to the IP address without uh, calling 9000 and in theory, we are able to log in and everything should work absolutely fine. Thanks for watching and talk to you in the next one.